Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to leave a like. Today we're going to be reviewing the ZTE Blade T2 Lite. It's got a 5 inch touchscreen and it's rocking Android 8.1 Oreo, which actually wasn't all that long ago. It says it's got a 5 megapixel camera on the rear and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. It also has Wi Fi calling available and it looks like T-Mobile is the one to make this deal possible. At only $20 we've got ourselves a smartphone so we're going to be tearing this open and taking a look at what it can do. I personally won't be using this as a backup smartphone for myself but go ahead and open it up. Great, got it. Easy enough. Front pops off. There's our phone. Wow, look at that battery compartment. Always nice to see smartphones that still offer a removable battery. Thumbs up to that. We've got uh, an external uh, SD card reader, it looks like, and we also have our, um, our SIM card, which is already installed there, so that's nice to see. And there's our camera and our light. It's telling us to peel this off, so let's go ahead and peel off some satisfaction. Ba boom, peel this off. Ba boom, baby. Actually, that's pretty sharp looking. I gotta say, for twenty bucks, very nice. Huh? Look here, twenty. 250 that is really good for a cheap cheap smartphone that's better than most electronics i find let's go ahead and click that in there wow beautiful really just i mean that fits in there flawlessly it comes with the power brick and power cable always good to see that in the box get this to connect here We'll be testing that out in just a moment. If you haven't seen my Jackery review video, I recommend you check it out. It's in here. Ba boom. We're going to turn our light on. And now she's up and running. So, we're going to go ahead and set that down there. You can see our charge is at 100%. And we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And turn it on. We're at 60% charge, so nice to see the manufacturer charge the battery a little bit before sending it out. We're going to go ahead and open the camera. Not bad, seeing there. Let's go ahead, I'm going to take this outside, and we're going to get some shots outside. So let's go ahead and go. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's okay. Let me check those video settings out. Guys, here we are outside. We're just getting that awful dynamic contrast in. Okay guys, looks like we've finally got a little locked up over here. Uh, we are now stuck on the loading screen. And here we are waiting and waiting. And... All right guys, so here we are. Uh, it's been probably about 10 minutes. Uh, I've got it plugged in right now to help speed up the processor and get to downloading and changing everything. A few apps have popped up in the background such as Pandora, Games, Hub, and News. So we got some stuff showing up here. Uh, so it's probably just updating the phone. All right, let's go ahead, get that microphone out and get to testing. All right, well, unfortunately, the Blade could not pull off the microphone option. Uh, with my Alcatel that I got at open box price for 20 bucks, I can get the microphone option to work for my videos. Unfortunately, the Blade did not add up. All right, 
And for one of our final tests, let's go ahead and open up a YouTube video. Going to Balancing Life. That's right, baby. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Terabyte SSD review. Bluetooth headphones work great, by the way. Speakers down here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Power 4C USB 3.2 Gen 2. Uh, this one is also shockproof. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Opening it up here, we've got a user manual inside there. Comes with our Type C to Type C connector. And what do I think of the ZTE Blade T2 Lite? Is it? A smartphone for you. I think if you're looking for a backup phone and you need to make a call, you need to take some music with you, have your Bluetooth headset on, maybe you're just trying to watch a little YouTube video and you don't care if it's real good quality on the LCD panel, I think in those situations you're going to be very happy having it as a backup phone. Uh, however, you got to put service on it if you want it to work. So if you have a home internet connection and you've got WhatsApp or another type of app you can make your calls with, then you're going to be good to go. For people that are trying to use this as a microphone type of phone, plug in your external microphone, I don't think it's a very good idea. I think that there's better options for you, <laughs> such as the Alcatel. I got this one for 20 bucks. Um Basically, same specifications, uh, but I'll definitely slower on the application processing. I liked the way that it would switch between apps without locking up and completely falling apart or restarting the phone. Seeing Android 8.1 or 8, yeah, Android 8.1 on there was uh, awesome. A little bit of an update. The camera quality, my expectations were potato. I was expecting potato cam. And I kind of got like tomato cam, which is a step up from potato. So we definitely got tomato cam quality, not bad. Uh, terrible dynamic contrast range. This this is not a phone you're buying for its specs. You're fi buying it for the fact that it works at $20. Uh, big battery, surprisingly. Fat battery in there for a, for a $20 phone. I mean, just finding a lithium ion battery in that size uh, for 20 bucks is cool. And I think the reason that they can get all of this into one package for you guys and have a decent processor to boot is the fact that it's got lots of bloatware on there. You'll notice the bloatware. And I think it's also the fact that they're going to get you on their network. They're going to get you using their service. And that is where they're going to make their money, not on the phone. So this is kind of one of those uh, options for specific uses that I think you'll like. And if you're just like, hey, I'm using a flip phone, I'm switching over to this $20 touchscreen smartphone, you're going to be happy with it. It's a lot better than twenty. what $20 would get you five years ago. Yeah, good job, guys. Well done on the phone and offering this. Um, like I said, I'm not going to offer a network connection on this one. There's plenty of people that have already done videos on network connection with it. It, it does work, and it's got a decent range, so no big deal there if, as long as you're in a nice T-Mobile coverage area, which I'm actually not. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this uh, video helps you out in your decision-making process. Don't forget to leave a like. Stay tuned for another future video. I'm going to be reviewing this portable water irrigator on the channel and i'm also going to be reviewing the super greens organic green formula so stay tuned for that if you haven't seen my other reviews i recommend you check them out lots of good videos on the channel and uh don't forget to leave a comment down below what kind of phone uh are you maybe looking for let me know in the comments down below you guys are great love you so much and stay tuned for that million views it's coming baby yeah